everyone. Welcome to another video. We're going to be talking about the shortcut that you can use with systems of equations on the TI-84. There's actually a couple different shortcuts and a couple different methods, so you might have learned one. Um, we're going to use one that involves a matrix and some other topics that we're not going to get into why it works. We're just going to get into the, hey, it works. So go ahead and get your calculator. You do need the TI-84 for this. We're going to do this with the big equations. So what you're going to put in the matrix on the calculator is you're going to do all the x's, the y's, the z's, and then what they equals. This is going to be your matrix. So this is, is like your matrix kind of looks like this. Whoop, pretend that's star eight line with me. Um, so these are your columns at the top. So columns and then rows over here. So the x's are going to be, they're going to line up. So this is going to be negative six, five, negative four. Your y's are going to be two, negative two, sorry, y, which is just one, whoops, there we go, negative six, negative one, negative six, negative six, okay, and then my equal sign, so 17, negative 17, 19, and negative 20. So that's what I'm going to put in my matrix, so notice it's going to be, it's always rows by columns, okay. So this is gonna be three rows by four columns. Now you're not multiplying that to be 12, this is just matrix notation. So if you haven't worked with the matrix, that's okay. You don't have to really know that much about matrices to use this trick. So again, I said I had, let me come on down right here. So I had three rows and four columns. Oops, sorry, my buttons got squished. So again, I'm just gonna fill this in. So this is a negative six, negatives underneath the three on your calculator negative two, enter, negative one, because that's just z, and then equals negative 17. So there's my first equation. Second equation is five, and then one, negative six, 19, and then you have negative four, negative six. Sorry for the annoying clicking. That's how my computer wants to roll today and negative 20. All right, so let me double check that I have my matrix filled in correctly. Because if even one of these numbers is off, it's not gonna be able to give me the right answer. Okay, those are good. So now I'm gonna go back to the home screen. So second, quit. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and get out of the matrix menu because I'm gonna have to get back in. So let's get back to the matrix menu. Instead of going to edit, we're gonna go over one to math. We're gonna go all the way down to letter B, I think. Yep, letter B, R-R-E-F. So not the R-E-F, just R-R-E. F. So that stands for reduced row echelon form. Um, that is something that if you're interested, the first time I saw it was in College Calculus 2. It's the first time I saw it and we only did it once. So it's definitely a college topic. It's really interesting, but we won't get into the why today. So we're going to hit enter and then we're going to put our matrix. So second math, nope, sorry, second um, X to the negative first, my bad. Um, and here's our first one here. So I have A, that's what I want. I don't want to edit it because I've already edited it. Hit enter. <clears throat> you don't have to close the parentheses, but you can. And then hit enter again. So notice what I want. I want diagonal ones. I want all of these to be diagonally one. If they're not, we'll show you what happens. So this means your answer here is X is two, Y is three, and Z is negative one. So let's write that. <clears throat> So x is two, y is three, and z was negative one. Is that correct? I think it is. Yep. So I've just solved this three, oops, too big, too big. I just solved this three, um, three variable equations with a matrix, which was super easy, super fast. The explanation took longer than the actual operation on the calculator. All right, try these two. Try these two. Go ahead and pause it and try it. I'm gonna do it. You may not need to pause it because by the time I'm done typing it in, it will, uh, you'll probably be done. <laughs> All right, so here's my edit now. I already have a three by four matrix again, so I'm just gonna leave that alone and I'm just gonna refill in my numbers. So let's see. Negative five, three, six, four, nope, six, enter. Oh, sometimes it'll get mad at you. Negative five, three, six, enter, four, enter. A lot easier on a physical calculator for sure. All right, remember a variable by itself is just one because you're just writing in the coefficients. Oops, negative five. 
And then let's see, I've got negative four. Sweet, that's already what I have. Two, nope, one, and 13. I apologize if I'm annoying. Okay, so make sure your matrix looks like mine. So if you're stuck on that, here's the matrix. All right, I'm just double checking my signs. Okay, so I'm gonna go to second mode and that's gonna take me back to the home screen. Now, I stored that in matrix A. So I'm just gonna go to second and then my enter sign and look, it's gonna pop up whatever the last thing I did was. So I just did RREF on matrix A. I'm gonna do that again, but I've changed matrix A. So it's gonna give me different numbers. So my answer should be X equals negative two, Y equals four and um, Z equals three. So let me see if I can write this at the same time. So X equal, I can't, that's okay. And I conveniently forgot all the numbers. Negative two, four, three, okay. So X was negative two, negative two, four, three. I'd say you can use this with smaller um, systems as well. So um, if you have to do these by hand, but you have the ability to check your work with a calculator, check it, go for it. Some of these you do have to do by hand. So that is a thing. All right, go ahead and do the second one. You probably already have, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. If you're stuck on what goes where, make sure your matrix looks like mine. All right, still a three by four, so that's great. I usually always keep one as a three by four just to have on hand. Um, let's see, this is a negative 20. Four, three, three, negative six, um, negative four, look. That has just been negative four all day. It's a little creepy. Who picked these problems? All right, same thing. And if you wanna go back through the menu here, I'll show you, I'll go back through the menu just in case you forgot where we were. So second, matrix, and go over one to math, go all the way down. There's our REF, second, matrix, that first one. You don't have to put the parentheses. It'll still do it, but, oh no. Before you go, oh, the answer is X equals zero, Y equals zero, and Z equals one. It's not. Don't do that. You need to have diagonal ones, and we don't. So what I have is one, one, zero on my three main diagonals right here. So what that means is this one has no specific solution. So we don't say no solution or infinite solutions. We're just gonna say no specific solution. Well, we won't get into that right now. This is just your calculator trick. So um, you can see some stuff fell apart in that problem. It didn't really work out, and that's okay. All right, that's all I have for you for this video. I hope you can use this shortcut and I hope it helps save you some time and maybe some stress on when you're doing these bigger problems or when you're doing the smaller ones with the two variables, use this to check. Use this on the SAT or the ACT during your standardized, um, during the calculator part of those standardized tests um, if you think it will save you time and you feel confident in doing it. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you learned something or you like this trick, please give this video a thumbs up and I look forward to teaching you something new later. Bye.